Hello, trading has closed on November 1st, 2017. Yesterday we had lower prices. We said if we kept up smartly, they'd be killed before the open. That's what happened. The uh, optional target we forget about since it didn't print. This target has till early tomorrow to print. And we have a new target of 2575.65. We looked for a pattern with an early low and a late high. That's what we got. The times are perfect. Tomorrow's pattern should also have the early low. During the day, MJT said ultimately higher prices would print. They did, but it says the move is false, and here's the target it gives. We have mixed signals from today's trade. The commonest thing is we gap and promptly move outside the day's range. Next most common is we close little change and have the big move in the following day. This was actually the signal we got two days ago as a pattern which usually closes near the high. It didn't happen, but we had a day which didn't do anything, and then we got the move we typically see in this pattern. Better put my disclaimer in there. The government gets angry at me. Well, <clears throat> what's po there's a number of things positive about the pattern. The first announcement to the, the first reaction to the Fed announcement was positive. There's typically a three-leg whipsaw, which we haven't had yet, but usually the first response to the announcement tells you the next direction the market's going to move. Ideally, you'd want to see it go up, which we've had, down, and then further up. The catch is, if we go further down, Undercutting the low will get the trader Vic to be sell, and that conflicts with the response to the FOMC report. This is a pattern which usually closes near the day's high. When that doesn't happen, it usually leads to lower prices unless we invalidate it by gapping up and promptly taking out this high. Dropping all day long, failing to undercut this low is positive. That positivity is invalidated if we gap down promptly take out this low and since futures are lower and we have lower me jt targets as possible we get a down move first and then get a recovery well this was the count i had i can still make this another another expanded flat but i don't think that's going to fly. I can recount it this way and everything works and if we start dropping from here I can make it work. But there are a number of targets that work and I think the optimum one's about 2666 plus which would make it a 2000 point rally from the 2009 low and give us a market quadruple. There's a lot of things going for this price, but I like to take things a day at a time. And for tomorrow's trade, the most likely thing is we gap and promptly go outside the day's low. Next most likely is we close a little change, have the big move on Friday. There are a number of prices which could signal the end to this movement since it's a three-wave structure. It has to correct at some point, but I now think when the correction comes, it will start from higher prices, and that's today's call.